this is assembling a drippy slippy mug. Uh, this is proper slips. This is my normal slip rather than the experimental slip I used last time. It's literally just made by adding water to dried clay trimmings. And then I stain it with um, oxides or stain to cover it. Uh, these big syringes I get from Amazon, 150ml, very useful for this. And then what you want to do is have a piece thrown and let it dry for a few hours until it's sort of approaching leather hard, so it's firm enough to support the slip. Um, I suck up the different colours into the syringe, so there's three colours in here, white and two versions of blue, um, and they will marble as they come out, and also I'll kind of add to that by applying it um, in different spots so you get different parts of what's in the extra, uh, in this range in different places. And it's worth kind of pulsing the syringe so that it's not a perfectly even application and then you get the drops running down. Done that, we'll just tap it lightly, trying to keep it as even as possible. That looks pretty good, actually. And then, as I said last time, what you want to do is have handles that you've already made that are a similar dryness to the body, uh, and again, I extrude mine. Um, and look for a good place to stick it, making sure it lines up with the body. Provide a bit more slip just to make sure it squidges out nicely. Support the inside and squash it into the base. And Slightly wonky, but I can't do too much about it now. And attach the bottom, and then what I'll do once these are dry is I'll wax resist up to the slip and then clear glaze down so that the slip itself is the only part that's glazed, um, makes it look like it's glossy in the same way that the last experiment was attempting. And if you haven't seen on Instagram yet, uh, it was a bit of a failure. Sort of, it's held together the handles on, so it worked in that regard. But as it's bisked, the slip glaze is behaving more like a glaze and doesn't really like it. That would be fairly easy to fix, but uh, in the process of fixing it, it will just become more and more like slip, so you might as well just use slip made from the same clay you throw. And that's it, really. Um, when that's fired, that will look like this. So, layers of colour. It's not so obvious until they're fired, but using 5% stains, it's not doesn't stand out that well. Um, but you get the different colours, the dip, the thickness varies, which I don't know if you can see on there. Um, and then, as I said, wax resist up into it, dip it in clear, and you end up with just the slip glazed, which I like the effect of it.